All right, so let's take a look at the full list as to what happened on day one, and this obviously could change quickly. Uh, but Jalen Brunson goes to the Knicks. We talked about that a little bit this week. P.J. Tucker, Miami fans are upset about that one. He goes to Philly. JaVale McGee, I feel like that was a pretty big one. He goes from Phoenix to Dallas. Lonnie Walker from the Spurs to the Lakers. Malik Monk, who was so good with the Lakers, he goes to Sacramento. That does feel like a Sacramento signing, by the way. And then Joe Inglis goes from Portland to Milwaukee. Let's uh, let's take a look and break these down closer. Obviously, I know you hate the Brunson one. I mean, hate is probably a little bit too far. Like, is Jalen Brunson good? Is that a movable contract? Will Jalen Brunson make the New York Knicks a better basketball team? I think all of that's true. I think if, if you know, next season they're like, all right, we're going to do this again. We're going to clear the books. We're going to try for whoever again. I think they would be able to move that contract without having to attach a first round pick to it. I think they would be able to get an asset for it. And I think Jalen Brunson is a good player, but is Jalen Brunson an all-star? Is he going to help the New York Knicks win 50 games? Is he going to make them better than the Celtics? The, you know, any of these? No, he's not. Um, so it's fine. And, and uh, you know, we, we, you were talking about this in the sports grid 60 two days ago. Like part of it is just, that we just laugh at the Knicks. The Knicks do anything, and we're just like, LOL, the Knicks, they stink. And that right. reputation is very well-deserved. I actually think the worst contract given out is this three-year deal for JaVale. Uh, our our friends over at uh, the Dunked On NBA podcast, they do this mock offseason every year, and the best that uh, his representative, you know, fake agent could get was one year, $6 million from the Phoenix Suns. Uh, One-year deals for guys like JaVale make a lot more sense. And really, I'm just thinking, what is the functional difference between Dwight Powell, who could not stay on the floor for the Dallas Mavericks in the playoffs, and JaVale McGee? I, I don't Now, JaVale is better, right? JaVale is, is a better rim runner, slightly better rim protector, but he gets into foul trouble, and you just you cannot really count on that guy to play 30 minutes a night. And the Mavericks need to be in cap flexibility mode, right? They, they didn't pay Jalen Brunson is co- his contract extension. They need to be having the doors open for a superstar. And the Mavericks, by the way, not a traditional powerhouse, you know, tr- you know, get a superstar team, but no state tax, cap flexibility, multiple first round picks the next couple seasons. Like, I, I just, I did not think this was a very good move. 